Hey dreamers, hitting 1.7 million is my dream starting to become real. And because I know people like receipts, here are my Fidelity and TD Ameritrade totals that add up to that 1.7 million. But I thought to celebrate, I'd throw back to a time of humble beginnings, another story that's burned into my memory and has driven me to achieve. It was back in my college days and my roommate and I had just ended another long week. It was Friday night, we were tired and hungry. At that time, I was working two jobs and going to school full-time, and she was working a full-time job. She had just bought a car so that there was some way to get around town, and I didn't have one. We both were splitting the rent in an apartment that was 300 some odd dollars a month. It was winter most of the time where I went to college, and we had radiator heat, so we were also pretty cold constantly. We opened the cupboards, and they were bare. Now, (laughs) today I open the pantry, and it's packed with everything under the sun, and I stand there sometimes and think, man, there's nothing to eat. But let me be clear, it's packed. (laughs) But that night, as we opened the cupboards... When I say the cupboard was bare, literally, you could put your hand in there and swipe it left or right, and it would touch nothing. We did not have anything left to eat. So we jumped in the car and went to the grocery store. Now, at this point, we had become masters of finding food. Sometimes there was extra food in the break room at work that we would pick up and take home. Sometimes there was free food around campus that I could go find. But what we bought at the grocery store every week was supposed to be our main meal, the meal that we would have usually for dinner. And we usually got the same thing every time. So we're in the grocery store and we pick up four items and take it to the register. The four items were a large jar of really cheap peanut butter, the cheapest loaf of bread available on the shelf, a big packet of spaghetti, and one jar of of spaghetti sauce. But when the cashier rang it up, we were just a couple dollars short of what we needed to check out. So we looked at each other. One of these four items had to go. Well, the peanut butter was our protein. That was all we had to really fill our bellies. So we had to keep the peanut butter. If we lost the bread, what would we put the peanut butter on? We talked about the fact that we could just eat it right off of spoons, but it's a lot better if you can toast the bread and put the peanut butter on it. Then there was the spaghetti and sauce. Without the spaghetti, the sauce is useless. But what else could we do with the spaghetti? We remembered we had one stick of butter left at home and decided to try to doctor up our own sauce at home. And so we left the spaghetti sauce and went back home with our three items. That story always gets me a little emotional because I was mad. I was mad that we had to make the choice of literally taking something off of the belt and putting it back in the cart. I was embarrassed because the people next in line were looking at us as we were trying to make the decision of what to keep and what to buy. And I dreamed of one day that I could go to the grocery store and pick anything that I want and not look at the price. I could actually buy the type of peanut butter that I wanted. I could actually buy something impulsively. And I dreamed of a day when I wouldn't have to check the receipt before paying. I was mad because we were working our butts off And it seemed like just treading water and getting nowhere. So that night, we got back in the car and we went home and we experimented with the sauce. (laughs) We made the spaghetti. We put some pats of butter in there. I think we added some parsley and pepper. And you know what? It really wasn't that bad. To this day, I still have peanut butter on toast a lot for lunch. And I also know that if times got tough, I could survive on really anything. Now, I don't know if this message is resonating with anybody, 
but I do hope it inspires you to keep going. Your circumstance doesn't define you. Your future can be made by your design. Okay, well, that's it for today. And as always with investing, do your research, learn, and then put it into practice. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so keep in mind these videos are for entertainment and inspiration only. See you on the flip side.